The YES program is a program that directly addresses health care disparities um, at, a, at a grassroots level. It's a program that um, tries to promote uh, healthy lifestyles and healthy life choices amongst minority youth. And so there are health disparities um, that fall along racial lines. So there's a, a huge focus on minority populations um, and most of those are, are lifestyle issues. We offer um, mentorship uh, by our Marquette undergraduate students, mostly in our department. Uh, we offer tutorials, help with their homework, um, and then we also offer fitness and wellness uh, sessions where the students are actually working out with Marquette. We bring together Marquette students, Marquette staff, Marquette faculty to work directly with the community. So anywhere from the fitness to education, um, everything in between is something that we really strive to develop. The school in the south side of Milwaukee, there's many things that happened. I had friends who were involved in very silly things, um, but who were also a part of the program. I think with the YES program, they were able to stay away from those things. What got me interested in the program was my brothers, kind of, because they would come home like really excited. Oh, we did this today and tomorrow we're going to do that and I think they were one of the biggest inspirations to get into it. I think the Marquette student involvement is really an essential piece. I think it's maybe the most important piece. They meet with um, the, the YES participants, uh, they work with them on their homework, um, they mentor them in issues outside of academics. The mentors were just, just a huge help for everything. They always talk me through my homework, I was doing it in my own household. If you have like vocabulary test, she doesn't just read you off the words and make sure you memorize them, but she asks you, why do you think this is important? Or why do you think we, you guys are learning this right now? We are grateful to get those mentors. I mean, because they got homework to do too. They got a lot of work to do at home. And uh, plus they come in with us and just sit down with the kids or go and run with the kids, I mean, it's big. Throughout the program I lost close to 20 pounds and I, ex I did exercise every day, so I mean, I felt like a new person. I think the biggest thing is that I've realized in my life I've had a lot of mentors to help me through and to push myself and I know how valuable that is, so um, I guess just providing that for them is, is the biggest thing that I can do. You know, they've helped me get into the school I really wanted to get into. They helped me make connections with, with my parents, with different types of people. Just them being on top of everyone made the difference. So the whole triathlon club developed after um, a, a series of 5K runs that they did, um, and they had a lot of fun with it. And so we started thinking, you know, is this something that would be interesting? Would it be possible? And you have to swim, uh, you have to run, and you have to bike. Well. Uh, only one of the eight kids knew how to swim. Um, they all could ride a bike of a fashion, um, but none of them had a bike, um, none of them had a helmet. There was a lot of safety issues to deal with uh, to get them prepared to uh, complete that part of the, uh, of the triathlon. Uh, more than anything, it's learning, um, them learning how to push themselves and develop new boundaries and new limits. When I heard about like the amounts of running I had to do, I was like, no, <laughs> but um, when Jeff, he talked about how he never thought he could do the Ironman. He's like, and I want to show you guys that nothing's impossible and that you guys could do it as well. I always thought I could never do that, but I had a goal set on it. I wish this program can be in every single school. The YES program um, is an asset building program. We um, try to develop um, youth assets. It's really a positive thing. They provided me with all the tools I've needed and used to succeed and to become the person I am today. 